Hello students, welcome to Shorosos classes. In this video, I will be solving econometrics MCQ questions. This will be useful for economics related and uh, ISS and statistics related all competitive examinations. The first question here is a population regression. Okay, so here they have given a population regression function. This is not directly observable. The population regression function is not directly observable. This one is a true or false or current statement is this. Remember that this population regression is also whether the population is directly defined or indirectly defined. The structural formation of the population and with respect to the different circumstances how the population is changing. So on the basis of that we can find the value of the regression. So observability of the regression here actually population dependence. So option number C is correct. Now we go to the next question. This question says log of yi equal to beta 1 hat e beta 2 hat xi ui where ui you know is the disturbance term. This term is nothing but it covers the part of fluctuations in yi which is not been covered by xi or this beta 1 coefficient that is being given by the ui okay so here ui hat or the estimated value of ui gives the difference of what so this actually gives the difference between the actual and estimated values of x so actual value and was estimated so y i this is the actual minus estimate y i y hat this thing is being provided you can also restructure the equation as y i equal to e to the power beta 1 hat plus beta 2 hat x i plus u i cap okay so this is the formational structure and in this case our answer is a remember that it's not the x values it's the dependent variable structure it explains going for the next question well in this question they have given under the least square procedure least square estimator we know that why we take a square of the terms because some terms may be positive some may be negative and there some may be zero so which may give you the illusion that there is no fluctuation that's why we take the square of every term without taking the modulus value so if this is positive always if there is any kind of fluctuation in the data so under the least square procedure or least square estimation larger the ui hat that's the estimated value of ui in absolute terms the larger the here it will be larger the square sum of residuals. So if ui is increasing, so summation ui square will also be higher. And remember that summation of ui square is not equal to summation of ui whole square. Okay, so this is very important over here. So this time option number C goes. Next answer is for the method of least squares this is again on the least square structure they have given provide with unique estimates of beta 1 and beta 2 remember that this is the beta 1 and beta 2 not the estimated values they are talking use the smallest possible value of this actually is dependent on for example yi equal to alpha plus beta xi plus ui so when you put a summation format yi alpha n plus beta summation of xi plus summation of ui so in case of estimated value only this will be estimated values will be here so we can say that uh, this is the smallest possible that gives the smallest possible value of summation of ui hence option number d is correct and next uh, question is question number five over here in fifth question it is saying by solving these simultaneous equations we obtain uh, the least square estimators so by solving which of these uh, structural equation we can obtain which by solving which of these they should have written which of these or which of the 
because it's a single option question here I have given. So by solving which of the equations we obtain the least square estimators. So here we can see uh, that uh, see non-normal equation cannot give because uh, this is uh, does not form the structural formation linear equation if we solve that will give you the direct uh, values the least square estimator is only dependent on normal equation this is also possible to get it from non-linear equations as well but uh, when you have two options and the say uh, option which is relatively more correct we go for that so this time option number b is correct next one is uh, the least square estimators what about the least square estimators happening so least square estimators are period no they are not period estimators yes see least square estimators happens every point wise this is for a uh, this is a discrete estimator so hence we can call it a point estimator it's not on the basis of population popular is not at all the answer this is not mathematically used much so this time answer number b is correct in the next video i will be solving some more questions and if you have any queries you can whatsoever us to the given number thank you